Hey guys, uh, Mr. B here bringing you another math video. Uh, in this math video, I'm going to bring you uh, very simply the derivative of y is equal to ln of x. So a really important derivative in any calculus course and really simple, just the same. So the derivative of ln of x is 1 over x. So it's, you know, it's, it's that simple. It's one of those ones you just need to know. And uh, a lot of times you can't get totally obsessed with, you know, where this comes from or knowing the proof and things like that. A lot of times you get caught up in the details. This is just, you just need to know it, right? Um, so the derivative of ln of x is 1 over x. My students prefer this definition, d over dx ln of u. Because most likely you're not going to tackle this guy by itself. There's going to be something here. So ln of u. And that's 1 over u times u prime. So, let's look at a couple of examples where you might see this and uh, where you might have to deal with this in a, you know, a test situation. So let's start fairly simple. So let's go y is equal to ln, let's say cos of x. So in place of my x or my u, I have cos of x. So I use this definition. So the derivative of ln is 1 over u. So my u in this case is my inside function, which is cos. So 1 over cos of x times the derivative of cos x. So times whatever the derivative of that guy is. Well, we know what it is. It's 1 over, so, or it's, it's a negative sine. The derivative of cos is negative sine x. So I end up with negative sine x over cos x. So negative sine x over cos x is negative tan x. And there it is. That simple. So again, it's just about knowing your rules. Let me try another one here to the side. So let's put something um, you know, different inside my log function this time. So let's put a root in there. So y is equal to ln square root x plus 1. So the beauty of ln is that uh, we never ever have to ever take the derivative of a root. Um, the reason why is because we can kind of use our rules of ln. So we know that a root is the same as an exponent of 1 half. And we also know if we have something inside uh, a ln function, so let's say if you had ln x to the 7, that's the same as 7 ln of x. So we can always take that one half to the outside, and that makes it a much easier derivative. So one half ln x plus one. So we don't have to deal with that complicated root scenario. So now we go ahead and take the derivative. So that one half, we'll just leave it outside. And really, I'm only concentrating on taking the derivative of this. So derivative of ln of x plus one, well, it's one over x plus one, my u being x plus one. Then the derivative of x plus one is just one. So this is what I get, 1 over 2 times x plus 1. Now, if you want to simplify that, you can. You can call it 1 over 2x plus 2. And there she is. That's it. So that's, you know, that's a couple of examples there, guys, that you might face in uh, the derivative of ln of x. So uh, stay tuned for more examples and some more hard examples. Thank you guys for, for watching this video. And uh, check out some of my other videos, like, share, subscribe. Thank you guys for watching.